Thanks for logging on to Newslink Indiana Weather. This morning you probably woke up to some showers and some thunderstorms. We had on and off showers throughout the day, lots of humidity, and this evening we had some showers and thunderstorms, but they have pushed east into Ohio. Satellite and radar shows we're all clear in our area right now. These areas in green are a flash flood watch that will be in effect until 8 p.m. tomorrow. With all the rain we have already received, plus the rain we're going to receive, that makes it very possible for some flash flood issues tomorrow. Places to our south, the county just south of us had already reached 2.75 inches of rain earlier today. Almanac shows that we reached a high of 69 degrees and a low this morning of 43, both above average for this time of year. Highs today, we had a 69 in Muncie, 72 in Indianapolis, and 76 in Bloomington. I'm showing you this because these high temperatures will be even warmer tomorrow. Overnight tonight, we're going to have scattered rain, winds from the south at 10 miles per hour in a low of only 62 degrees. This has been our high temperature for the past couple days, so it's going to be a relatively warm night. Temperatures will be warmer than average, so you'll probably want to turn on your air conditioner if you don't want to be really hot while you're sleeping tonight. Tomorrow we have an enhanced risk for severe weather throughout the entire state of Indiana. Our main threats include the flash flood watch, like I had mentioned, damaging winds with winds greater than 30 miles per hour, hail could be an issue, and an isolated tornado is not out of the question for tomorrow. Tomorrow temperatures will be above average with a high of 72. Some thunderstorms may be severe with strong winds gusting up to 30 miles per hour at times. Precision cast shows that tomorrow morning we start off with a lot of cloudy conditions to our north at 9 a.m. We have some thunderstorms in Fort Wayne, lots of downpour and possibly even some hail in the morning hours. As we go throughout the day, we have on and off showers and then just our south of us overnight Thursday into Friday morning, those storms are moving out of our area. Friday we have mostly cloudy conditions. That mostly cloudy conditions will move out of our area. Saturday leaving us beautiful conditions with mostly sunny skies to look forward to. Seven day forecast shows that Thursday we're going to have some severe thunderstorms, windy conditions, temperatures greater than average for this time of year. The weekend will be cooler than normal. Breezy on Friday, winds gusting up to even 20 miles, possibly up to 30 miles per hour at times. And then early next week, the warm moisture kicks back in, giving us some more chances for some spring severe thunderstorms.